this is another little alternator I made as an experiment. Um, basically, the, the magnets are sandwiched between two coil plates. So I've got eight one and a half inch magnets, and I've got a total of 12 coils, six on this side, six on the other side. And I want to show you with the, um, the voltage tripler. Now this one isn't wired in star. Each of these phases is separate. So I didn't need the extra capacitor here. So basically I just have a capacitor on each of the DC legs coming off and then they're wired in series. And I want to show you how much voltage you can get just with a hand spin. You can get this... Uh, Yeah, I'm up to 18 volts just with my thumb and finger. Now there's no load on it, but just, just the fact you can get that much voltage at that kind of RPM is what I was after. Now I, I put a, uh, I put a uh, drill on that and spun it up to about, I don't know, the drill was rated at 400 RPM. I don't think it was going 400, probably 300, and I had this up to uh, 78 volts. So just even a little unit like this can do, do quite a lot. You can see these are all filled with polyester resin. I left the wiring open so I could get at it and experiment and try different things. Um, of course, this could be cleaned up and a better way to do it. But this, this will be the model for the uh, little steam engine generator that I'm going to make. Um, it'll be 7 inch diameter. This is 8 inch diameter, so it'll be a little bit smaller basically the same idea and then it can also be cleaned up on the edges with a nice seal so it should be a nice compact unit you could use it for a wind turbine hydro whatever you want but uh, yeah it works pretty well